Hey everyone, hope you're all well, this is Scott here, and in today's video we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Now, the video footage you can see on screen right now are of the video game Half-Life, often considered one of the greatest video games to ever be released in the history of gaming. And in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install and run Half-Life on almost any Android device. So, before we get started, we just need to check that we have a couple of things, one of which is of course an Android device. Now I'm going to be using an MXQ box for this tutorial, it has an Amlogic S805 quad-core processor and a meagre 1GB of RAM. I'm using this just to showcase to you guys that you don't need a high-end device to get a smooth experience out of this game. You can use a lower-end device such as the MXQ and it still runs absolutely perfectly. You're also going to need a copy of Half-Life itself on your computer somewhere. I'm not going to go into too much detail about where you can get a copy of that, but I'm sure you guys are resourceful enough to go out and find one, because we are going to need to copy some of them game files over to our Android devices. And thirdly, you're going to need a means of getting those files from your computer to your Android device. So whether that be a USB cable, or using a USB storage device to get those files over. But once you've got those things ready, we can actually continue and get on with the bulk of this tutorial. So I've booted up my Android device and I'm just going to verify the box that I'm actually using and go into the settings here and you can see that it's an MXQ and it's running Android 4.4 KitKat, so it's a relatively old device. Now the first thing we need to do is go into the Play Store and download an application called Xash 3D. So go find the Play Store on your Android device and open it up. Now go into the search bar and type Xash 3D. Now you'll get a few different results, some of them by the same developer, and they do a myriad of different things, but we're just going to focus on the one that's called Xash 3D FGWS by a group of developers called Flying with Gauss. Now what this is, is actually a game engine that's been ported to Android from the PC, and this is going to allow us to run Half-Life within the Android operating system. So go ahead and install that, and then that's the first part of the tutorial over. What we're going to do now is go jump over the PC and grab those Half-Life game files and get them onto our Android devices. So the next step is very straightforward but also very important because we need to go and grab some game files from the Half-Life install directory. So by now you should have installed a copy of Half-Life on your computer or laptop and we need to now go and find the install directory. This could be different depending on how you installed it because you can of course get it from the Steam store or you can install it via CD-ROM or something like that. So just find your install directory for Half-Life and then you should see a list of files and folders like I have here just on the screen. Now all we need to do is drag and drop the folder called Valve into the SD card or USB storage device. That's all we need to do. No other files or folders, just simply that Valve folder. So just drag that across and let it copy over. And the time it'll take to do this will vary depending on your device and its speed, but it can take a little while if you've got a slow device because it's around 300 to 400 megabytes. But once that's copied, you can go ahead and plug your SD card or USB stick into your Android device, ready to copy these files over to Android. Next up, we need to copy those files from the Half-Life installation directory over to the Android device itself. So we're going to need a file explorer. I'm just using ES File Explorer here because it's one of the most common and best rated ones, but most others should work as long as it allows you to copy things and create new directories. So once we're in here, you're going to need to find your USB disk or SD card. In my case, it's called SDA1, and you should see your Valve folder that you copied earlier. You just need to long press on that and hit copy. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to your main Android directory that's usually in storage emulated zero and you need to create a new directory. So if I create a new directory here and you can call it anything you like but just to keep things smooth and for continuity let's just call it Half-Life. Once you've created that directory just enter it and hit paste. Your Val folder will copy over and now you have those necessary game files on your Android device. Now the next step is we're going to launch up that Xash 3D app that we launched before and do a tiny bit of configuration before finally launching Half-Life on our Android boxes. So now that we've copied over them installation files and we've got Xash 3D installed, we just need to go ahead and try and launch the game now. So go and find your Xash 3D app and click and open it. It'll take a few seconds to load, but when it does eventually load, you should get a screen a bit like mine here. It looks a bit complex and scary, but don't worry, it's not too bad. There's also advanced options, but we don't need to touch them. We just need to click Select Game Data Location. 
Now what we need to do is find that folder we created earlier, remember I called mine Half-Life, and we just need to enter that directory. Don't click on anything else, and then just click Set Current Folder. Now all we need to do is click Launch X-3D, and hopefully Half-Life should load. So let's try that now. And there we have it, as if by magic, Half-Life has opened. Now this is actually the full game, as you would see on your PC version as well. So you can come into the options and do all the settings and things like that. It has gamepad support, so if you've got a device with gamepad drivers, you could set an Xbox 360 controller up, etc. It even has touchscreen controls implemented, thanks to the guys who created X-Hash, which means that you can set up your own touch buttons, and it's fully customizable. I'm going to turn them off because I'm on a TV and I don't need touch controls, but if you're on a mobile or tablet, you've got them as well, so you're going to be be able to run this game using just your screen. You can even come in and set all your video options like your gamma, your screen size and all that jazz which is really great as well. You can also come out of there and go into video modes and set your screen resolution just as you could with the PC version. So I'm going to scroll down and set mine to 1080p and find 1920 by 1080 and see how it looks really. So if we just find that there and click OK then we should be in 1080p when we start the game. You've also got your audio options there as well, and you can come into your control settings and change your key bindings and jig the controls around till your heart's content. But let's try and launch the actual game now, because that's what we're here to see, to see if the game's going to run and how it's going to run, really. So let's try and start a new game and just see how this performs. So there you have it again, almost instantly it's loaded up and it looks really great, it looks stunning in HD, the controls working really well, I'm using the keyboard and mouse and they're really fluid and there's no latency or anything like that. Now there's actually another step to this tutorial but it's entirely optional and up to yourself. I'm going to show you how you can create a custom icon to launch Half-Life straight from your Android home screen if you're using a launcher like Nova Launcher or something like that. So that way you can launch the game straight away without having to use the Xash 3D app. So stick around if you want to learn how to do that. Now the next step is entirely optional, but you will need to have the Nova Launcher installed on your device. So once you've installed it from the Google Play Store, come back to the video and we can get on with the rest of it. So you need to go into your app drawer and locate Xhash 3D again and open it up. Then you need to click on Create Mod Shortcut. This will bring up a dialog box. We need to edit that top box that says Shortcut Name and we need to give it a label. So we're going to call it Half-Life. Now the next box is a command line arguments box. You need to leave that as it is, but you need to put a space at the end of it, then type dash game, space bar, valve, and then click create shortcut. Once we come out of there, back to the home screen, the Nova launcher is going to create that shortcut for us. I'm just going to drag it to the middle of the main home screen. Now I downloaded an icon earlier because this icon's not very good, so I downloaded a high res icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to long press on the new shortcut, It'll give us the option to change the name again, but I'm going to click on the icon and then it's going to ask me if I want to use a predefined icon or if I want to use one of the gallery apps to select an image. So I'm going to click gallery apps. Then go to the Android gallery, go to my download folder and click on the icon that I downloaded earlier. It's going to ask me if I want to resize it. I don't need to, so I'm just going to click done. Then I'm going to click done again, and it's going to change it. And now we have a nice, shiny Half-Life launcher straight from the home screen of your Android device. So if we click on that, it is going to boot straight into Half-Life, and it's going to bypass the need for that Xash 3D app. So that just about brings us to the end of the video, guys. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. I know it has been a bit different to the stuff we've put out lately, but I thought it'd be a nice change of pace and it would mix things up a bit. So I hope you've got some use out of it. I hope you've learned a few things, and I hope, more importantly, that you're having fun with it. And as you can see from the footage on the screen right now, the game is running really, really well, even on that lower-end hardware like the MXQ box running the S805 processor. So you should be able to apply this tutorial to any Android device you can get your hands on, even the really low-end ones, and it's going to work an absolute treat so i really hope you've enjoyed the video guys if you did like it give me a big like if you didn't like it maybe give me a dislike if you want to that's fine as well maybe leave me a comment and let me know what you didn't like about it or even if you did like it and you just want to chat or you want some advice come and talk to me in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to the channel we are growing and growing and growing and growing lately thanks to you lot so we really thank you and really appreciate all that 
Come and follow us on Twitter now at MXGeekProject. It's on the screen just there. Visit us on the website, MXGeekProject.com, for more reviews, tutorials, tips, and all the forums and stuff like that. Come on, join the Facebook group. There's a great bunch of guys over there, really knowledgeable people, and we do help a lot of people, and we all help each other out, and it's really, really great. So I've been Scott. You've been watching the MXQ Project, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>